Hi guys, welcome back to Joey's Table. I'm being extra extra today, but that's because I got up and I did some cleaning today. So um, I did some uh, spring cleaning in um, summer. Um, got the house all cleaned up today, which I was very happy about. My last day off of work, unfortunately. So my three day weekend went by like it was one day. Um, and yeah, and I'm more excited because <laughs> I still got my glasses. So, um, I broke my other pair at the 4th of July party because I sat on them. I was really upset about, but I got these glasses still. So these are more of my Auburn grandma glasses, but who even cares? Cause that's not what we're here for, right? What do we got going on today? Another one of these snack packs that uh, Jay gets. Um, he works at a school, so he gets uh, these little like school lunches sometimes for the summer camp. Um, I don't want to give too many details because I don't think it's that important. But that's where the these origins of these come from. I thought they were <laughs> thought they were store bought, but they weren't. So why am I always like doing that? It's... That's a good one. I like that one. That's what I'm gonna use. So yeah. I don't really even honestly know what all this is because um, it doesn't really come with a description so I'll tell you guys as I eat um, but I think it's a sandwich um, some sauce which I'm like really nervous to eat because I don't know if this has been sitting in his car or what but I'm gonna just dip on into it I'm sure if they give it to kids it's gonna be good enough right sometimes Jay, Jay's done that before where he's brought something home mm. And sat in the car. And he's like, okay, you wanna eat it? And I do. And then he's like, oh yeah, but it's been sitting in the car for a couple hours. What? No, I think that's just um like a balsamic vinaigrette. Shake it up a little bit. Mm, it's really good. Um comes with some chips, a granola bar. Which looks a little uh, like that's been sitting in the car, so who knows? I might not eat that, but How's everybody doing? How is your 4th of July? I know I kind of already made a couple videos in between, but. Hopefully you had a fun time. If you're watching this, don't forget to go like click on my other video of the pun video. I got like no views, which I was totally understandable for because most of my H ASMR videos go down in views. But I'm only marketing this one because I actually kind of enjoyed some of the puns in there. I didn't think I would. Like, like I think two of them were pretty funny. If you don't though, totally cool because I'm glad you clicked on this video. Look at these. Come with like a little bit of cheese and ham. It's really good. It reminds me of like the crackers I eat from them. I have another one in the fridge I was totally gonna smack down on, but mm. I might save it for work tomorrow. Which by the way, don't be too hopeful on uh, any videos, like any like big mug things till Friday. Mm. I was talking crack, crack <laughs> I was talking crap about this, but this is actually really good. Really good. Um So no real like muckwing videos. <laughs> no real muckbang videos. Until like Friday, because that's what I'm gonna get paid next. Whoop whoop. Mm. Yeah, so. I'm working with my free meals as of right now. This is my last quarantine check, like when going into like the last month, like the first week and a half, I think. I was like unemployed. So. I'm still kind of recovering from that. 
Other than that. Nope. I'm like this close to getting back to like financially stable. I'll take it though, cause last year I wasn't even in a quarantine, and I was like, like felt like I was unemployed, and I was working full time, like nonstop. My money was still an issue, like bad. But that's because I was getting hit hard. My tire. I know the story of the day. So I was driving once. To a new job I got in the city, like directly, and I have a car, right? I've been driving up and down in Chicago like crazy. And if you know anything about the expressways and the roads, man, they're bad. A lot of potholes. Well, it's not as crunchy, but homemade chips are the best kind of chips. Hit a like button for that crunch sound because I know that sounded good, but. So my, my car has always made it through a lot of stuff, but it's not always the best. Oh, Joey, on his first day in the mineral, middle of winter, um, I like, like, I think two years ago, I went to this brand new sparkling city window I had my own not my own but I had an office at the like the side of the window in the city and at the time I was like 21 22 like that was so much for me like that was such a big huge like a big jump in life like I always say I kind of like went from like being in my mom's garage like hanging out not really doing much during my summers to like being in the city like hope like and I felt like it would happen overnight like this stuff and I had like I didn't really go to school or nothing so I mean, I went to high school, but not college, college. Went for a little bit, but anyways, I was really nervous. I felt like this was my break. I felt like this was going to be me. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to go here and do this. And I was having a panic attack. And this is my first day. But I was like, you know what? I got to do good. So, you know, I got all dressed up. I was feeling good, doing my thing, and the thing is, is that it's a city building, and they don't have their own parking garage. They have a parking garage down the block, but it's like really tricky, super complicated to get there, and I'm on my way to work, so I had to call the front desk, ask them, hey, where am I going, da 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 and they're like, look, you're going to want to go here, and stop over here, and park here, and then bring your ticket up to us, yada yada yada. I was like, oh, okay, cool, and I got lost, and I was like, what the heck am I going to do? So the only thing I was able to do was park my car there for a short amount of time and then go up to the place and like act like as if I was a customer and then get a validation instead of free parking, if you get what I mean. So instead of me having free parking and, you know, getting whatever, um, I would have to go in, park my car and pay like six bucks. No biggie, right? But that's for like two hours. I may have a ten hour shift or like an eight or ten hour shift I have to do, whatever. Wow. I get up there. I'm talking to some of the girls. Shout out to Summer because this is where me and Summer work. So I think I have Summerlicious makeup in my subscribers. I don't know if you guys want to check out who this girl was. But this was the girl that told me this and my car got out. I'll tell you this. But anyways. So she told me. And Summer, if you're watching this, girl, I was so mad this day because you told me and I believed you and I think that you messed up my car. Um, like, literally two more minutes. One more. Um, and, yeah, I was, like, just sitting there. Oh, she was like, okay, why don't you just, like, drive your car out of there, wait until, like, another car comes. Because I guess what happened was, was, that's what they had told me. It was, like, I was going to have to do that pay but then like I don't want to keep going out there to pay another six bucks another six bucks another six bucks so they're like looking this is what you gotta do though okay just go through your shift get through all of it and you don't even really need to pay at all 
They're like, look at them. Why don't you just pull up behind somebody when they're leaving out, and you just dart out with them, and you try to get underneath the gate. And me, I was a wild, rambunctious teen, and I had no money like that. Like, I had enough for the first six, but, like, not enough to do a whole however long, like, rack up 30 bucks for one day, and I have another check coming in two weeks. Like, that was just a no-go. And the whole reason why I started this job was because my previous job stopped giving me hours on Christmas. And I live in the city, so it's not as cheap. So, I had to figure out something, right? So, whatever. I'm like, okay, fine. I get through the majority of my shift, and it's the time for me to go. And I'm just like, okay, look out. I know how to do it right this time. I'm just going to go park it now. And then that way I don't have to worry about it for the rest of my shift. So, I, I went down there, past the time. So I couldn't pay the six bucks. And I did exactly that. I followed, I waited there, waited at the end exit. There was like no security guards or whatever. And I should have just asked for one, but I didn't. Um, and yeah, I waited until somebody pulled up. They got in the lane, I got right behind them. Uh, I followed closely behind them. And the only thing that happened that I know for a fact was the thing clacked down That's my lamp. Whenever like it, whenever vibrations hit or it like moves around a little bit, the light shuts off. But it slaps down on top of my car, um, like the 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 gate. But it slaps on top of my car, so I'm able to just drive past and it goes through, and it's all cool. And I'm like, yeah, woo, I did it. I'm like legit screaming my car like I did it. Woo! I'm listening to Drake at the time, so it was like one of the, um, it was like that, like. What's the song? Something, something, something. I was listening to it the other day, too. On the, on the other side. Da, 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 da. And that's terrible, but I just can't think of it right now, and I don't want to embarrass myself with singing, so. Um, look alive, look alive. That's the song, look alive. Um, and I'm, like, bumping out to it, like, all excited and happy or whatever. And I pull back in, I uh, get the ticket, and I'm ready to go, and I'm like, woohoo, I did it! And I get out of the car, <laughs> I slam the car door, and I parked immediately, slam the car door, I'm walking away, and all I hear is... <sighs> and I'm like, what the hell is that? Like, is that an air vent? I walk around, to my first tire, on my driver's side, and it's flat. And I'm like... Dang, that sucks. I walk to my other side of the car, and that tire is flat. I walk to the back side, and my other, my passenger side, and that one's flat. Three tires, flat on my vehicle. Now, I was uh, under the underground of Chicago, like near Wabash and stuff, if you know where that is. Um, so it's a lot more... Like it's like an underground kind of city they call it. Um, it was like kind of like they built the city over the city over the city, um, and it's kind of like like a little bit more of like um, like underground whatever. Um, so I think from my perspective, I don't think it was the gate. I really don't think the gate would have done that because it would have been all four of the tires. And I'm pretty sure I'm exaggerating the story. It was only two tires. I just know it was a maximum of at least more than two tires, um, or it was more than one tire for sure. Um, and yeah, whenever I went over there um, and I pulled back in, they were all flat. And I think the area when I was jamming out and I was all excited, I feel like I drove over like broken glass or nails or something because I was driving in something that was kind of off road. Um, so that was kind of a thing. But I am still also very convinced that I messed up and my car went flat. And so on my first day in front of my boss and my vice president at my brand new sparkling job, I was basically crying because I didn't know what to do and I was having an anxiety attack because I'm super young and I was trying to make a good look and it all went wrong. Um, so yeah, so that's a lot of my like mentality breaking during that day for sure, but um, I mean that job was super toxic anyways. Uh, they wouldn't even really let me go to go fix the problem, I had to like basically call a tow truck tow truck guy and not be there and then like have even like my parents not be on the phone like it was miserable working at that place so that's why my mental health is a lot better because I don't have to worry about my boss being like you need to get off your phone like dude my car just 
hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I had a really good time with you guys today. I was surprised I had such a good story to tell. So hopefully you stuck around because I know my Lunchable videos aren't the best. Um, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, or subscription if you're new. And don't forget to click on that notification bell. I just want to do it when I'm banging out, but... Don't forget to click on the notification bell if you're new, um, and check out some of my ASMR content. If you like ASMR, I'm probably not like an A1 stylist with it, but, you know, it really helps when you guys watch it and you let me know what I'm doing right or wrong, so, always helps out there. Um, I'm really happy you, uh, joined me, specifically, you. And, uh, yeah, thanks guys so much, I know I'm in a little hyper happy mood, but this is just... My natural self just kind of cool out and uh, me and Jerry are probably going to hang out, watch movies, and play video games for the rest of the night. So I'm sure he's just sitting in the room doing his own thing. So, Alright guys, check you later. Bye.